This question is composed of two parts. So let's solve them individually. First, it is asking whether an object dropped from 40 meters height would hit the ground in 2.5 seconds under the influence of gravity only. In this case, we will use kinematic equations which most people know from high school physics. We will use the displacement formula. Here, y1 is the starting height which is 40 meters, y2 is the ending height, we don't know this yet. Vy is the initial velocity which is zero because we are just dropping the object from 40 meters. T is the time passed, which is 2.5 seconds for this question. And finally, G is the gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Here, we put the minus sign because it indicates a downward acceleration. Now, we simply write the Python code to calculate y2. Here, we transcribe the displacement formula as we did in previous videos. Instead of using 1 over 2, we simply put 0.5 and assign the initial values as given in the question and calculate the position. The position of the object is about 9.3 meters from the ground. If this number was zero or lower, we would say that the object reached the ground since this is greater than zero, which means it hasn't reached the ground yet. In the second part of the question, we have to calculate how much time elapses before the object hits the ground. To do that, we need to go back to the kinematic equation. Let's move y2 to the right hand side. Now, what we have here is simply a quadratic function. Here, a is 1 over 2g, b is vy, and c is y1 minus y2. We then find the roots of the quadratic function. We then plug a, b, and C from the kinematic formula. And here is the final formula that we are going to use in Python. To simplify the Python code, we separate the square root part from the rest of the code. Remember, we had two roots, one with minus, one with plus, that's why we have T1 and T2. We don't know t, so we remove it from here, and we add y2, which is 0, means ground. And here is the result. 1 is minus, 1 is plus, so we know that time cannot be minus, so it is 2.8 seconds.